Hi, welcome to the DL Academy. Today, we are going to discuss about the view template in Autodescrivit. By using a view template you can save time as well as you can maintain unity in your drawings. In Autodescrivit there are several built-up view templates, and those can be used for plan view as well as sectional or elevation view. Now, with the structural detailing, from here we are going to discuss about how can we build our own custom view template. Ok, this is my structural model and it consists with two numbers of RCC slabs and, ground floor with just tie beams. The structure is supported by a pile foundation system. Here I'm going to draw beam layouts for each floor. Let we see how can we do this with the view templates. First, I want to create a new structural plan view. For that I'm going to view tab and under plan views, click on structural plan. Then, new structural plan window may opened. Here under default structural plan type all floor plans are there, so I'm going to create a new structural plan type by duplicating the existing one. I name this type as ST. Now, I build a structural plan for my roof floor. For that, I select the roof floor from the list and, then click OK. Now you can see my structural roof floor view. This plan view has full range. And however I want to crop the range only for the plan view. For that I select crop region visibility under properties tab and place a tick on the box. Now I can adjust the region as necessary. Yes, let we see the close look of plan view, and I want to convert this into my roof floor beam layout. For that, I can simply use the view template under the properties tab. By default there is no assign any view template and, to assign one, I just click on the button and in the window, select the existing build up view template. From the build up view templates from the autoed screen it, I can choose structural framing plan for beam layout. However, if I assign the structural framing plan template, it's still showing the layout of slabs which I don't want to show in my beam layout drawing. Therefore I can build my own custom view template as my own requirements. So, let we see how can we build our own one, to build a new template, the easiest way is the duplicating the existing one. For that, I just click on the view template and, select the structural framing plan and click on duplicate. I'm giving the name as beam layout. Now, I can customize my new view template. Let we see the parameters. Here scale is ok for structural plan view. Let we see others. Yes. Ok. Let's move to model overrides. Here it's showing all the parameter list, and I want more structural ones. Therefore I'm going to filter the list by structure. Now the list is most relevant to structural model. Let's we edit each. Here, the architectural columns, and, I don't want to show them, although I don't have any. So I untick it. In addition I don't want to show, yes ramps, roofs, stairs, and, floors. I want wall here. Ok let's for overrides. Here I can override cut section, as well as surface or projection. Now I'm going to override frames. I want line weight as medium. Therefore I'm giving weight number 3. Same for the cut plan also. And I don't want any fill pattern for them. So, I, untick them. Now for structural columns. Here also same line weight as the beams or frames. And, here I want surface pattern as, some, diagonal crosses, for both foreground and background. 
and just solid fill for the cut section. Then, just apply the changes. Okay now. The beam layout is just as I want. Let we see the close look at the line weight. I just enable the show line thickness. Yes, you can see now, both column and beam line weights are same. Now let we add tags for the beams. So I simply move to annotate tab and, click on tag hall. In the window, tick on structural tab. And apply. Wow! Now it looks amazing for structural beam layout. Now I rename the plan layout to roof beam layout. Then, I'm going to create a beam layout for another floor. Here let's build a layout for second or upper floor. Just select the second floor and apply. Now, here I just apply my custom view template. Here I don't need to do any, just add the tags for beams with tag hall. I rename the layout to upper floor beam layout. Same way, I'm adding the tie beam layout. Here you can see the foundations. Now I apply my view template. However, still it shows the foundations. This is because, I didn't untick on foundation in model overrides. The other reason to show my foundation level details in my tie beam layout is, the view range is, beyond the foundation level. So, let we do on both ways. Simply I untick on the structural foundation. Yes it works. However, if there are any beams or other elements than foundations, those are still visible as in tie beam layout. Therefore, the best way to adjusting the view range. For that, in overrides, click on view range. In this case, I adjust the view range up to minus 2. Yes, that also works. However better to change in both ways. Here, also I'm adding the framing tags separately. Okay, this is my tie beam layout and, I'm changing the name accordingly. Let we see another custom view template for foundation layout. For that, I'm going to build my own foundation layout. Here, I create the layout. Then, Autodesk Revit has built up a view template for foundation view. Then, I select it. Yes, this is look okay. However, to show you some additional overrides, here, I create in another template by duplicating it. Name it as Foundation Layout. Here you can see the model display as wireframe. So, if you want to change it, you can do it by overriding the model display here. And, I change the style from wireframe to headline. Similarly, you can change other parameters as necessary. The scale is ok and, I change detail level from coarse to medium. And, click on model override to adjust the line weights and fill patterns. 
Sometimes foundations may consist with some strap beams and, such situations, you have to override structural frame properties. Here, I override the columns. I just add solid fill pattern for the column for both faces and, as well as cut sections. Then, I change the foundations. Here, the line weights. And, assigned no fills or patterns. Ok then I apply the changes to my custom view template. Yes, this looks great. I allow to view the region and, crop it to show only the foundations. Now, I'm going to tag the foundations. Here, I'm using simply tag by category and click on each bile cap. When I zoom in the tags, I'm allowing the tag with a leader, and hence small leader is visible. Therefore I remove them by selecting the all foundation tags and just unchecking the leader. Ok. This is how we can build the custom view templates and how can we customize them. Hope you enjoy the video and, please subscribe our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.